<laughs> hey mommies, uh, we have a 10 minute arm tamer today. Um, this video is focused on postnatal moms uh, because when we have the baby, we um, are changing our posture a lot. Okay, so if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, you'll be in this position a lot, so you're rounded forward a lot. Um, and your body also just went through a big postural change during the pregnancy. Um, maybe you feel like your head is a little bit forward um, or your shoulders are rounding forward from the weight of the belly pulling you forward. And um, you know, after you have the baby, that doesn't change much because you have to pick the baby up all the time. So um, this workout is for you if you feel like you need to reset your shoulders and just tone the arms and feel good about that posture and get that confidence back in the upper body. So we're going to use weights for this series. Um, if you are new to exercising, you can do this without weights, uh, but I would recommend ones, threes, or fives, okay? No heavier than that. So we're going to take a cross-legged position. If you can't sit cross-legged, that's okay. You can sit just like I'm sitting now, just nice and tall, with the feet down either on a chair or you can stand. Here. Okay, so, but if this isn't a problem for you, come to a cross-legged position, and we're just going to start with the arms out by the sides at a low V, lift the arms to shoulder height, and then back down. So lifting up, lowering down. Very simple. So just keep going like this. Keep your spine really tall. And throughout the whole series, just think of keeping your head right in line with your spine. So your ears are right over your shoulders. Your shoulders are right over your hips, right? We're not going like that. We're really lifting. Let's do three more here. Three and two and one holding it up here. Flip the palms to face forward and give your elbows a soft bend going in to hug a tree forward or out or hug a beach ball, as I like to say, especially on a snowy day here in Jersey. And keep going just like this. So not only are we working the arms, we're working the abs too. You'll notice as you move the arms, the body will want to pitch forward and back, right? You want to keep your body still. So that deep transverse layer of abs is working here. Let's do five more. Five four, three, two, one more, open, bring the hands behind the head. The thumbs and the index fingers come together, the elbows come in and we're going to lean just slightly forward so now our shoulders are forward of our hips and press the arms up and then back behind the head and push and down. So for this set, Think of the opposition here. Your shoulders are down away from your ears, but your arms are reaching the opposite way. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two. Reach the arms up and hold on the last one. Sit tall again and bring the arms back by your sides. Now flip the palms to face the floor. Rest down for a minute here. Adding on to that first exercise we did. So lift to shoulder height, come forward, open and down. Lift, forward, open, down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep the body still, draw the abs in. Five more, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one more. We're going to open the arms and hold on this one and then bring them all the way back forward so the hands are just in line with the shoulders, not together, just right in line with the shoulders. Now pull the elbows back and forward to kiss and back and forward to kiss and keep going just like this. You should really feel this. I feel this a lot in my shoulders. You can always drop to a heavier weight or, or drop to a lighter weight. <laughs> 
And then uh, you can always do it without weights too if you're building up, okay? Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring the arms in. Back up over the head. Thumbs together. Index fingers together. And again, pressing up and down here. Working on those triceps and the shoulders. A few more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. All the way up on one. Sit tall and bring the arms down by the sides. And just go into some bicep curls here. Bringing the fist towards the shoulder. The elbows are in tight by your sides. Sit tall. Checking with that core again. Let's go a little quicker. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, yeah, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Now just bring your hands to 90 degrees. Okay, so forearm parallel to the floor. And we're going to do little presses back and open like so. So we're squeezing the shoulder blades together on the back really tight. When we're pregnant and after we have the baby, like I said, we go into that uh, posture where we're rounding forward a lot. Yeah, and that creates the muscles on the back, creates uh, more length in the muscles on the back, okay? It makes them weak. So these, tighten them and shorten them again and makes them stronger. A few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring the weights down. Set them off to the sides. And we'll just do some stretches here to finish. So interlace the fingertips in front of you. Uh, palms facing you to start, and then flip the palms, push through the heels of the hands, and round your spine. So we're going into that C curve, and pushing through the heels of the hands. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll feel a little release around the shoulders. Now lift that shape up over the head and sit tall and just push the arms back as much as you can. Bring the right hand down, the left arm up over your head and just stretch here. If you're standing or sitting in a different position, you can just let that right arm lengthen down towards the floor by your side. Come back up and switch. And all the way up. One more, hands interlace behind you. Push your knuckles down towards the mat or the floor and lift your heart, gaze slightly up. So you should feel a nice stretch across the collarbones here. And hold. Yeah, just bring the arms down and take a deep breath in and out. And hopefully you feel a little taller Shoulders a little bit more open and a little more centered. All right, thanks, mommies.